All right, guys, John Chicken Ship Farms back with you again today. And we're going to be looking at the BSA. This is a Sweet 17. It's a little bit uh, different than the one that I have for my 1022 back here. This is a, a build I did a few years back. Um, I said Ruger 1022 has a bull barrel. I believe this is a, a 20. I think it's a 20 inch bull barrel has uh the ruger bx trigger and a few other small things it has a bipod on the front a sling and i'm using the the bsa sweet 22 now this one is a i believe this is a three no four i think it's a four by 18 by 40 i think on this that i'm using uh Definitely more scope than I have ever needed, ever, with anywhere that I've ever shot. This thing really reaches out there and is very affordable. I mean, this is great glass for um, a rifle scope that's, that's not going to eat you up. I mean, it's, I wouldn't, it's definitely, definitely perfect for everything I do. I mean, I've. I bought this scope, uh, I think I had, because they were sold out almost everywhere. And I think I ended up getting this from uh, Gunbroker. I think it was Gunbroker. It might have been eBay. It's one of the two. But I had finally found one of these. Because a lot of times, uh, when you do find them, you're going to find a little bit smaller one here, which is this one. I say this is the Sweet 17 I bought, which I'm so nice I can't get it in the focus there. But you can see how much shorter it is. This is just a 3 by 12 by 40 Now, these things have the most insane uh, pricing I've seen on scopes probably ever. Um, most of the time, they, this, the, what people want for them is, is, is crazy. I mean, it could be twice as much as what I paid for this one. Just depend on where you buy it. So far, the cheapest place I have found it up till now is Sportsman's Guide. You know, that actually has it in stock. Now, they, they're coming in and out of stock all the time. Uh, they had this one. I just bought it a couple weeks ago. I've got a rifle I want to put it on. But I have the longer version like this on my Marlin 917. And I bought this one for uh, my little Savage 17 I picked up a little while ago. I'll do video on that. But I said I have the longer one on my Marlin. And I picked this one up for $70 with free shipping. And like I said, guys, the, the prices on these things are crazy. I mean, I was looking. They were $140, $150. Some people wanted more than that for this same scope. It's, it's crazy. So definitely look around. And, uh, you know, don't, don't jump on one just because you see it and it may be in stock. Actually, look around. Now, something I noticed with this, which kind of bothered me a little bit. All right, guys, there's definitely some differences in this one and this one, obviously, with the longer tube and this more magnification, things like that. But also, uh, you see the logo here in the center, just a little laser etch. And on this one, actually has a... Uh, little glued on piece here also this has the uh elevation and windom or wind sorry windage turret adjustments here this one has the elevation but it has the small windage adjustment here see right here so you got your elevation and your windage here and your uh objective here and then you have a magnification ring on the back Use the same, same, uh, practical horse. One of the other differences is this one came packaged like this, like you would see a lot of your Tascos and things like that, instead of this BSA and my other BSAs, which came in a box. They came in a box and they had separate turrets for different grains that you're using, especially my Sweet 22. I think it came with three different turrets. You switch them out for different grains you're using. So I, I believe this one had three, and my other one 
Verse 17, I think, has two. So keep that in mind. Definitely, when you're looking at these, look at the different options that are available. But we're going to open this up and take a look. All right, now that we've got it open, let's see what we got in the package. You're going to get your warranty card here. I said the BSA does have a one-year warranty now. You're going to get a cleaning pad, and you're going to get the scope mount, Allen wrench, and this is actually for changing your turrets, which is kind of funny because this one didn't give you an extra turret. So, and here, this is just a little bit of your instructions. Obviously, stops, tells you a little bit about the scope, how your different adjustments work as far as your... Uh, your magnification and your turrets goes here's how to use your reticle and a reticle sorry and down here some different reticles you can see now this one has a standard bsa but they have illuminated and some other things now this scope doesn't have that it'll tell you how to how to zero it in and things like that so definitely read that if you're unfamiliar with these and this is nice too this will tell you the different, um, this is the trajectory compensation, which is this up here and the side as well. This one actually does have it, it's under the cap. So, and this is, comes with the 17 grain turret. So this is all for the 17 grain turret. Tells you the different, different uh, ammunition and the grains and you know, right here, here as well a little bit about it so that's nice to have definitely some good information there now let's take a look at the scope like i said these as far as budget option scopes go these are excellent the glass is excellent uh the eye relief is not bad you don't get a lot of fish eye in there or so you, I mean, it's not as not that bad i mean i think the eye relief on this is around four inches and it, it works out good. And it stays fairly clear. It's definitely some decent glass for the price. Like I said, this uh, also comes with these dust caps for your lenses. And I really like these the screw-on kind because they don't get lost that easy. So it's definitely, definitely decent. And it came with scope, scope rings. And that's really cool because I remember, I think one of the first ones I bought did not have scope rings. And that's probably this one here. I think I had to buy these separate. But I had to buy another set of these for the rifle I want to put this on because it had, uses the same mount here. And the scope rings that you get are for the smaller mount. I just, I said not for these. Whatever they're called, I can't think of them right off the top of my head, but I'll show you some here a little bit closer up. I said this comes with the 17 grain, 17 HMR turret. You would use your little wrench here. There should be three screws here, here, and here. They're set screws. You don't have to take them out. You just loosen them up, and your turret comes right off like this now. My other scope came with two of these, and I believe this 22 Sweet 17, I think, came with three. It might have had two. I'll have to double check, but I thought it had three. But it's like that. You change those for your different weights. So we'll put that back on. It's really easy to do. Don't forget to tighten it back up, though. And then here for your windage, There is the style that you have for your windage here. It has your windage marks. Well, I said this scope uh, is adjustable after it's zeroed in for your windage and your elevation. It's very nice. Well, I said this is a budget scope, guys. It's $70. Sportsman's Guide, free shipping. And I said I wouldn't mind having having this style like I have on my 1022 here, especially for this uh, 17 that I'm going to be trying out because of the, you know, it has a better trigger than my, my Marlin, which has an atrocious trigger. Very, very stiff. Uh, there's not a lot of aftermarket options out there anymore for 
for my my marlin unfortunately but uh yeah it's a rifle i've had for a long time has some sentimental value there so i'll be holding on to it but well, i said these there are i'm sure better scopes out here guys that you can spend a lot more money on but this scope at uh the price point it's at it's really hard to beat as far as as I know, I mean, I have used these for a long time. I wouldn't be telling you guys about them if I haven't used them for a long time. This scope here has been on my 1022 for 12 years, I believe. I think 12 years I've had this scope on here. And it's been excellent. I've had no problem with it at all. Hold zero, fine. It's, this is a very, very accurate rifle. Um, just a fun rifle. It's one of my kids' favorite by far. And then my Marlin, I've had a BSA Sweet 17 scope on that one for, uh, I'm going to say it's probably been about 18 years. It's been a long time. And it's been an excellent scope. Hasn't fogged up. Hasn't uh, no zeroing problems at all. It's very accurate, even with the atrocious trigger that the Marlin has. Uh, it's been a great scope. So, I mean, I said I had to had to get another one because these are specifically made for the 17 HMR. Just like this scope here is made for the 22 long rifle. So it's definitely uh, a great scope to get into. Not a lot of money. You're not going to break the bank. And then having the different turrets that you can swap in and out is, is really awesome too. Um, I said, I don't, I don't know if I'd say, well, it's competition. But, you know, ready, but uh, hey, it, it does, you know, it's under $100 for a really decent uh, scope, good clear glass, um, and they've, they've lasted. They've, uh, I've, they haven't given me any trouble at all. So definitely a good one for you if you're looking for a, a decent budget, budget scope that you're going to get some high value out of. I, th I would say the BS... BSA and the, the Sweet Series is, is just excellent. I know they have a 3031. I believe they have a 223 now. Uh, I think I have something else. I think it's just a regular 30 cal because they couldn't make up their mind what it was going on. But I've been wanting to give one of them a try on one of my 30 cal ARs, and I may do it just to see how it how it works out. But for the for the 22 and for the 17 HMR. Excellent. These are excellent scopes. Definitely give them a look. But remember what I said, pay attention where you're pricing these because they vary insanely. You'll have, you know, like I said, this, this same scope I paid $70 for from Sportsman's Guide and then you'll see it somewhere else for $150. And they like to play that, well, it's in stock. We have it in stock. Well, a lot of people have it in stock, guys. Just look around. And, you know, try not to, try not to get stung on some of these deals. And if you can find the, this, the one like this, if you, especially you like long range shooting and stuff, this is excellent scope. Excellent. It shoots farther than, than I can shoot. And I said these, I use this on my Marlin. I'm going to use it on the Savage and we'll see what it does. But like I said, I do have to get another set of scope mounts because it, it uses the, the same style as this uh, 1022 here. Or, there you go. That's the style that the Savage uses. Same style that's on my 1022 here. And will not work with the scope rings that come out of the box on the BSA. So, definitely got to look for those. You'll need some of these. Up. It's a one inch, I believe. Uh, this mount. Uh, But there we go, guys. That's all I got for you today. We appreciate everybody's support and uh, watching our channel. Please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. It just uh, lets YouTube know we're good guys and uh, people watch our videos. Thank you.